Legend has it, he ate glass and pounded his head against lockers before waging war. He announced on a Monday night game that he hailed from Buzzard's Breath, Wyoming. He decreed that all quarterbacks should wear dresses. He was Count Dracula in cleats, the remorseless linebacker for Pittsburgh, Transylvania. Double wing right, ace! <laughs> That'll cool your ass off. In high school, John Harold Lambert was a skinny quarterback and sharp-elbowed basketball player. However, in 1974, the Steelers picked him as a backup outside linebacker. Ham and Russell were fixtures there, but when inside linebacker Henry Davis was injured, a terror was unleashed. He stood 6'3", and weighed only 204 as a rookie, the exact size as jet wide receiver Al Toon. Still, his toothpick legs always got his toothless face to the ball. In a game of angles and position, he never took the wrong step, and he was always the most focused man on the field. Every season, he led the team in tackles. For nine straight years, he bashed his way to the Pro Bowl. Eventually, the kid the Steelers took a chance on was chewing out all pros like Jack Ham. The middle linebacker is supposed to be the leader. I could never understand why some people had to be motivated. Uh, but, uh, and I, I tried not to yell and scream too much, but sometimes when we were playing very poorly, you know, I felt that a few words were necessary, and that's usually when I did my yelling and screaming. I never looked at professional football as a popularity contest. I look at it uh, as my job. I don't care that, that my opponents like me. I care that they respect me, though. Number 58 considered it his job to hit someone on every play. When one of his teammates received an out-of-bounds cheap shot, Lambert had another job to perform. He raced the length of the bench to exact the punishment. He thought it his duty to teach the Browns a lesson because as a kid, he loved them. And they didn't draft him. But it was in Super Bowl X when Captain Jack first earned his reputation as an intimidator and enforcer. It wasn't something that I sat down and planned to do. I, you know, I didn't think about things out there, I just reacted. And the Cliff Harris incident in, in the Super Bowl out there, I never thought about doing something like that, but I saw him whacking Roy on the helmet, I turned around, I just grabbed him and threw him down, and that it just happened just like that. I think sometimes I got the feeling people thought I was a dirty football player, and that always bothered me, because I, I never went out and tried to hurt anybody or anything like that. Now, I, I can play, I could play any way you wanted to play it. I mean, we had some guys out there that, from time to time that wanted to do some things that weren't legal, and I can, I can do that too if I have to. <laughs> but I'd rather play by the rules and play fairly. But I don't think that, that you intimidate. You know, there's no cowards out there on that field, buddy. Today, there's a new field for Jack Lambert, and that's in Alliance, Ohio, where he spends his summers molding intelligent linebackers and responsible citizens. Good stretch today, good stretch. Last full day of camp, we don't want any pulled muscles now. All right. <laughs> good job. That's what you've got to go over in your mind every single time. When you say 5-2, mo cover one and break, you don't go stand at the line of scrimmage and see if, look, if there's any pretty girls in the stands over there, okay? You've got to be thinking out here. You can be average if you want to be, but if you want to be a great football player, you've got to concentrate and you've got to have the right intensity, okay? A couple times out here yesterday when we were playing, some of you guys, and I got a little bit angry, but I, I get excited when I play. You've got to get excited when you play football. You've got to, all right? You've got to be excited. If you don't want to get excited out here, then you've got to go play tennis or something like that. You should take pride in the fact that you're, you're one of the very few people in the world that can do what you're doing, play in the National Football League, and you should go out here and try and be the best you can be, you know, game after game. And hopefully when it's all over, you can look back on your career and be proud of it, you know, as I am of mine.